I'm sorry, sir, but my sensors indicate that you are indeed a weenie. Hey! Sorry, folks! <laughs> That's loss! I, I just, I picked the first one! Oh my god, it is lost! I didn't, I didn't notice! Hey guys, welcome to the stream, I'm Ryan Phantom, that was lost. Uh, and this is 413, also known as Homestuck Day. Isn't that, isn't that the MSPA guy? Oh my god, I think it is! It's him, the reader! <laughs> uh, I don't know how long this game is. For 99 cents, it can't be that fucking long, can it? Oh shit. I mean, obviously we gotta pick hot dog. Come on. They give us the choice of which one was this? Probably Riska and Hot Dog Boy? Prepare for goofy voices from Ryan. Oh my god. His quirk is hot dog buns. You can't be too careful. Folks tend to get really greedy when I look in their eyes around my warm sausage! These are odd ways to express the things he's saying, you think? You're in a weird alien meat locker. You're absolutely surrounded by dangling meat products, including many sausages, thousands of them. You begin to sob. Your sobbing soon turns to unrestrained wailing of raw catharsis. He joins you. The tears flow freely from you both. You embrace each other and let it all out. Suddenly it hits you, both of you. This is by far the happiest day of your life. <laughs> Meet heaven. I just realized this says volume one. I think there might only be two. All right. Well, that's good. At least there's only two friends. It's not very long. No wonder it's 99 cents. Ask if you can have a bite of his hot dog. It looks amazing. Forget it. I'm leaving forever. Bye. I like. Oh, I got the. Oh, I got the good ending. Don't worry, I got I got the good ending of first try with Hot Dog Boy. I like how there's always one instant death ending. Honestly, I don't even need to get by that log, since I have a much shorter lifespan than most trolls. What? Oh, because he's... Oh, no. Hear that, Brett? Your boy's gonna die! <laughs> you try and try and try, his face is turning... Well, not blue, deep red? Guess it causes blood is rust colored. Sure, that makes sense. Yank one more time, your broken arm throbbing in pain. A huge gob of cheap. <laughs> he didn't have legs. He didn't have legs. It was cropped off. <laughs> oh, I think you might be dead. After flipping in the air once or twice, you come down right in his face with a big ass of your crack. Diamond? Slap his cheek a little, no response. He's not breathing. You check his mouth, throw it, it's good. It's not Dr. Free. This can't be happening. You look around panicked. This is what you need right now. All you wanted was a friend. You can't be held responsible for alien murder. You try to hide the body. You see a couple of kids creeping out of nearby houses to see what all the commotion is. There's no time. You've got to find a bush or something. There, over there, it looks like a little alien bushy thing. It's pretty small, but it'll have to do. You drag the best in shirtless carcass over to the bush. You dump the body in the bush and it's really not convincing. It looks like a dead kid was unserviously <laughs> dropped the top of a small bush in a poor attempt to conceal a murder. Gotta come up with a better- wait a minute. Someone is standing behind you. Oh! I wasn't expecting this. Hello, stranger. Don't worry about this little mess you've made. I'll take care of it for you. This looks dangerous. There's, there's like blood and uh, the sink is. I don't know if it's just colored that way. Oh, and the the door to the. Does she harvest troll horns? Oh no. And meat hooks. Yeah, I'm. I'm. 
I'm scared that this this girl is like a, a troll horn harvester. Here we are. This is where you'll be most useful to me as a friend. Oh. What is happening? You are less relieved to see several other kids trapped in cages of various shapes and sizes. One of them makes eye contact with you. The boy is the same kind of alien as her. Horns and all. He's a dark red symbol on his shirt. His expression seems to plead with you. He struggles and says, Help! Your new friend looks unamused and twitches her finger. Help! Oh. Help, Lo. By which I mean hello, of course. <laughs> what? Help, Lo. By which I mean hello, of course. Looks like you're the friend of progress chosen by the great and beautiful Ardata. They weren't saying help. They were saying help, Lo. <laughs> She's my savior for my reason for being. I'm nothing without her. I'd hollow myself out and let her make a nest inside of me if she'd permit it. Turn away from this boy. You don't ever want to hear anything he ever has to say ever again. You're led into a dank corner. Oh! Every single one requires an Allen wrench. Does this even come with an Allen wrench? Instructions seem to suggest it does. Why do they have an Allen wrench in Alternia? Why do they have screwdrivers in Alternia? Why aren't they named something dumb, hussy? All four legs splay dramatically up from underneath it at once, like a baby deer on ice. The table platform comes crashing down in your lower torso, breaking your pelvis. You bellow in pain and flail to pull yourself out. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! What is happening? Jesus Christ. By the way, M Meat Boy, your hot dog boy, his story was like twice as short as this. Like, way shorter. And not as fucked up. But everyone makes mistakes, right? You can still salvage this friendship. You know you can. You turn back to look at her hive. Ardata is standing in the doorway with a furious look on her face. She's flipping you off. You will not be my friend. Rejection! Sounds fine, I guess. Get the fuck out of my face and never come back. <laughs> All right, guess that choice doesn't work too well. You bend down in a strained motion and pick up the plate and fork. You position the plate over your wide open mouth and scrape in all the remaining gristle and begin chewing. This is virtually inedible. Your mouth humors the act of chewing for two seconds and then you swallow all of it whole in one painful gulp. It tastes like friendship. Friendship? <laughs> Well, what a fucked up character. <laughs> oh, it's the it's the aesthetic one. Additional content will be released on a regular basis. Scares me. I'm scared to have Homestuck in my life again. They gestured towards their strangely bulbous alien computer. On the screen is GrubTube channel, lo-fi, aesthetic, incubated beats. No! Wow, they sure have a lot of subscribers. You asked them if they drew that very nice anime girl they're using as the splash art. Oh my god! <laughs> nah, I just ripped it off some Eastern Alternian movie. And recolored it to look like me. Oh my god! That's what that is! Look! Look at the computer in the background! It's like, it's the girl, but it's like recolored over... It is. It really is. There we go. It's... Look. That's it. That's the picture. It's... It's just a redraw. We could put that there and there'd be no difference whatsoever. <sighs> I wish I could say more. Really get all emotionally vulnerable and share my tragic backstory. But ever since... The incident. We'll have to make you a chitter account, too. It's good for my image to have friends, haha. <laughs> the pickings have been pretty slim ever since. The incident. Just in general, you're kind of fucked up looking. It's chill though, because now you look fly as hell. You look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Why 
Wow, radical. Neato. When's your new friend's stream? What's their sign? Are you kidding me? You haven't even done anything. You're just like all the rest. No, no. You don't want to be all like all the rest. You just want to be friends. It's too late for that now. You've made me look like a fucking idiot. And now there's only one thing to do. I really didn't want to come to this, but you've left me with no choice. I'm writing a call out while <laughs> No! Sarava types furiously on their device. You can't stand to look. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Now, no one will be your friend ever again. You'll be forced to live in the outskirts of society. Fraya, you can't even forget to imagine the things Sarava must be writing about you. You must have fucked up so many things in your life to lead you to this point. There's only one thing to do. You burst out of the front door of Sarava's hive and you make your way conveniently placed stump. You sit on it and complete the state. Oh my god! Wait! Is this the stump with the gun joke from MSPA way back when? Is this the death stump? Is he gonna reach in and this gonna be the gun? Is he gonna kill himself? Is this the old MSPA joke? Why? <laughs> You sit out in a complete despair. There's no point living anymore. With trembling hands, you reach inside. Oh my god! It's the exact panel! It's the exact panel! What the fuck is a moisture wave? Seriously? If you don't even know what moisture wave I like, you can't really see why you would want to be friends with me. Because, <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know how to explain it to you. You just have to, like, get it. So Ava considers you for a long moment. Actually, yeah, this isn't going to work out. Get out of my hive. Yep. All right, that's what I thought would happen. All right, so that's, uh... I think you're getting the hang of this moisture wave aesthetic. You just have to look like the biggest tool possible. Several accessories later... Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Let's chill out and listen to some beats. You vape? I got a pretty juicy rig downstairs. It's not a bong. It's not a bong, it's a vape. It's not a bong, it's a vape. Oh man, that's the good stuff. Man, that was sick. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Your head feels light and rosy. You giggle. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So if you kick it back. <laughs> what does that say? What does that say in alternative? I wanna know. You stare up at the ceiling. That's a horse, goddammit! This is the most significant and transcendent moment you've ever experienced. The two of you share a beautiful and tender bro embrace, the likes of which will never be re replicated in this known universe again for all time, forever. Probably. You don't really know. You're high as fuck right now. <laughs> First I draw this head, then I erase some of the more detailed features, and one, two, three... There she is. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Amicia Erden. Oh yeah, he never mentioned his injuries in the entire fucking Sarava one. Didn't mention at all that his arm was fucking broken and his ribs are fucking messed up. Tell her, yeah, it isn't exactly your whole deal, but you've been known to dabble. Oh, I see how it is. Well, you aren't gonna snake road in any trade secrets out of me. Goodbye. All right. You completely blew it. She's flipping me off. <laughs> okay, so we got the bad one right off the bat. She seems to want you to put your injured arm into the large hole in the wall, which you do because you are sure your new friend has your best interests at heart. The hole shrinks down and like a blood pressure cuff, sending bolts of agony through you. I'm drowning in red. This is crimson. It's incredible. You must be some sort of mutant. You're lucky I found you instead of one of the drones. Lucky? You? Ha. Ha ha. Yes. Very lucky. The luckiest. Though your arm is healed and you're out of whatever doubtlessly weird weather happens on this planet, maybe Amishi is right. Maybe you are lucky. I don't think you are. You close your eyes and try to breathe. Zen yourself out. 
really center yourself in your body and all that garbage. You're bleeding all over the couch and everything around you starts to go shiny and unreal. She comes back with a couple little jars that she uses to get your blood. That's a good idea. Sure, I'm making a mess. You wonder if they're specifically blood jars. They look like jam jars. Alien jam. Space jam. God, you love that movie. It's been so long since you've seen it. Definitely the best PG movie about basketball. Way better than the one with the dog and the clown. Do they even have basketball here? I've kept this precious blood safe. I think you might be my muse. You will never escape! That's the good- That's- That's the good ending?! That's the good ending! She's so cute, too! I wanna love her so much! I wanna love her so much, but I- She's crazy! She's another fucking killer! Why? Why won't that guy be so much like that? Look, Patrick, I'm Texas! Hey, howdy, y'all! I'm Texas, howdy, too! Howdy, y'all! Get a dog, little ah. honey! Of Ladies Gray and Lucy White. And it looks like we got two ladies this time. We got Applejack, and we got, uh, Eco Goth. It would have perhaps been wise to stay with one of your wonderful new friends until you were fully healed. Yeah. But as Martha Stewart said, visitors like fish begin to smell after three days. You are almost positive Martha Stewart said that. Applejack suspenders. Applejack? All right. Applejack it is. Uh, maybe we'll try to forget it first and just die. Yep, okay. Honestly, you can probably see this one coming. <laughs> and this year's lady. Oh my god, is that a... Is that a Bernie's Mountain Dog, but really JPEGged out? Holy shit, what is that? Holy shit, what is that? Kill or be killed. Hell yeah. You pop one of the bandit trolls in the face. Fuck. That hurt your fist more than it hurt the troll. But it does throw them off balance long enough for Skylar to smash the butt of her gun into the side of their head. Yeah! I love this troll. Hell yeah! But still, you love her. You make an awesome team. <laughs> oh, these animations are, are just top. Top form! She leads you through her hive. Who knows if you're ever going to get all your vision back. Maybe you're just blind for life. You have to get a cane to whimsical aesthetic. Learn to navigate the world by smell alone. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! That's a Terezi joke. It is the worst ending! That was the worst ending yet! That was awful! That was the worst ending out of all of the fucking endings thus far. And this one here involved me fucking getting, like, eaten out by a goddamn tick. It was bad. Squidward, this guy had a baby. That's not a baby. That's a giant anchor. Girls, we have a visitor to our caverns. Do not be alarmed by their bizarre appearance. They seem to be harmless and quite weak. Do not give them more injuries than they already have. Our visitors deserve a warm jade blood welcome. She claps her hands. No one else is around, but you stand to attention to give her the thumbs up and show that you read her loud and clear. I'm worried about you, though. You seem like you need help, and I wish I could help you more. What, what does that mean? Clipboard voicing enabled. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm trying to disable it again. Disable it. It will not say to be disabled. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> How do I get rid of it? Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? Oh shit! <laughs> um. Ah oh, fuck. Hi Nox, welcome back. I enabled some sort of weird thing while you were gone. I don't know. Clipboard voicing enabled. Shift C. I can't make it go away! Oh! Self-voicing disabled. Oh. <laughs> okay! What?! Wait, can I have this read to me? Oh, no shit! 
Hold on. Self voicing disabled. Okay. Let me try. Self voicing this. enabled. Let me try this. Brynja, if I can't take care of someone, I'm not sure how we can ever truly be friends. That's neat. Self voicing disabled. I'm gonna turn it off, obviously. But all over the cave floor, you see more wigglers crawling everywhere. Cocoons lie in the cave walls and larger stalagmites, uh, with some young trolls crawling out of them. Self voicing enabled. Son of a bitch. Self voicing disabled. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to using the mouse. I swear to God, I'm use. I started using the space bar to make it easier, but I swear to God, I'm gonna go back to using the mouse. As Branya explains the troll reproduction to you, one of the imperial drones veers sharply to the left, and in the process tramples over a few wigglers and young trolls. The drone continues on, but several of the Luci cry out, crowding around their dead or injured charges. <laughs> No, I accidentally went back. <laughs> you approach the rampaging bison with caution. It's just a bison. They didn't even edit it. They make it. They make it seem like a horrifying creature. It's just a really washed-out bison image, cut out really badly, by the way. I do not make friends with anyone who recklessly endangers trolls and wigglers under my care. <laughs> you kill them all. Game over! <laughs> you have fallen right onto one of the wigglers. You roll off of it, but there's no use. It's squished flat, and you might be covered in all of fluid that you might think it might be its blood. You look up to see Bronya's horrified face. Note that there's no hope for friendship in those vengeful eyes. You might want to run before I throw you out of this window and break the rest of your bones. Yep! Seems they're all right. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this is a sad face. Alternia's deadliest ass. Branya holds the wiggler carefully, but with perfect ease, just like you hope she'll crater your new friendship in its infancy. What is wrong with our character? We're, this this game is gonna end. It's gonna turn out our character is like is seriously broken. Just a seriously broken individual. Like they've been like hypnotized or something. Because this, this bitch is obsessed with friendship. See, this is why it's great that the trolls met up with the humans in the Homestuck session of Spurb. Because seriously, with the humans there, they're going to be able to prevent the trolls from, like, keeping on with this fucked up shit. At least that world is going to be fine. This world is all turny as fucked up. At least they have the fucking beta and alpha kids there to help them not fuck up the trolls anymore. Holy shit! Finally! Two trolls come out of a volume that I don't hate! It does my heart good to con a couple of class A suckeroonies like those two. <laughs> mm. Mm. What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. All right, I was like, hmm, pretty sure I bought it. What? What's that at the top? What? Huh? All right, give me a second. We'll get it. Is he charging? Is this troll charging me money? Is that his quirk? Is his quirk like a sign here? It's like it's like a signature line. Sign for the sign on the <laughs> sign on the X, please. That's so stupid. Well, I know which one's gonna get us the instant end. Sorry, I don't do charity. Such a shame too. I was hoping working with an alien might make more of an interesting day than usual. Wow. He turns on his heel and walks away, his high ponytail switching behind him. Friendship is not a currency. Holy shit, is that a ferret? <laughs> Hold on, I have the perfect image for this if I can get it out of my sort of recycling bin. Here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes, there he is! It's everyone's favorite ferret. The ferret pounds down off its pedestal and turns his head for you to follow it. You do, because it seems like a regular thing to do, and Tagora is busy on his computer. 
It leads you to the bathroom, which is just as fancy and clean as everything else you've seen. The loosest chitters at you for a second. <gasps> Squirms its big noodle body around and leaves, shutting the door behind it. I want a ferret, Lucis. Me too. Bites his lip and looks back through your window at the papers sitting on a desk where he left them. Hope he still wants to represent you, or at least that he'd want to hang out even if he wasn't going to. Is this guy trying to fuck me? I'm, I'm a little... Hmm. Go on. Your whole look is a bit mm, repellent, but it may make the pitiable lost alien angle more emotionally effective if you still look like you got run over. Sorry, did this motherfucker just say frown? <laughs> frown. It takes you a second to realize he didn't just say his physical, emotive response instead of doing it with your face. He's giving you a direction. I'm a dumbass, just like the main character. I knew no good would come from shitty folk and their flying machines! Next in! There's very loud bagpipes playing all of a sudden. Seems like a great candidate for a friend, despite the fact that his voice sounds like it belongs over... Oh, like it belongs over a newsreel about World War II. Damn it. Damn it, and we just gave that voice to the lawyer. Shit. <laughs> well, too late now. <laughs> Behold, my shame. The truth is I long to toss and turn within the grasp of Mistress Gravity's sweet fingers. To traverse the sky, could such a thing be? Imagine flying within the confines of Alternia's very atmosphere. Defying the very conventions of what we <laughs> all know to be true. Instead of down, up. Instead of falling, soaring. Can you imagine? Can you see it before you? <laughs> Could you ever dream the existence of such a flying machine? <laughs> <laughs> he quickly ties the fabric around your face. Time is upon us. Oh, pff, Wow. That was a voice crack that was not intentional. Tell them airplanes exist. I brought you here to show you my truth. And you treat me to mockery. An airplane? A plane that floats in the air? Flying machines are a serious business. I think you should leave. <laughs> While walking, you unwittingly came close to an edge of a large cliff. But your companion has now disappeared over. You race to the side, your stomach flooding with fear. This is absolutely the opposite of what you wanted. Go on. Oh, joyous happening! Oh, delight for the body and spirit! Did you see? Did your being absorb what occurred before your very visage? I flew! Soared through the air! Just for a moment, but it happened! An ecstasy like none I've ever known! Yay! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, God damn it! I love this game. <laughs> Victory! More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> Start hive swim. Hive swim. Good. Hive swap. Fred sim. Volume 5 of Affection Unwanted or Untrue. Who the fuck is that? Wait a minute. Who is that? Let's get Zebra out of the way, because I'm, I'm wondering about this guy. Let's do Zebra. He looks like a suave, dapper man. Red, huh? Wow, that's so unique. I've always liked the color red. I don't think I've filled a quadrant with a red blood before. I mean, uh, I don't think I've ever made friends with a red blood before. Yeah, this is- yeah, it's Majima! Yeah, all we need is an eye Hold on. <laughs> Keychan! I think it's super terrible when high bloods don't treat their low blood mate spritz like the queens that they are. You look around at all the other couples. Class divide is pretty noticeable. Some of the high blood trolls have scornful looks on their faces when talking to the low blood dates. All low bloods are queens! Zebra sees what you're looking and shudders theatrically. Ugh! Who puts you on the planet? Ugh! Hello! Oh my god! I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but oh my god! You tell him you're ready to retire to your guest room now. Sure, sure. Oh, bruh, by the way, no! He says bruh! 
takes you across the town to the concert, only trying to hold your hand or put his arm around you a couple times on the way, so it could be worse. Florentine, this man is creeping me out. Help! How? You're even more clueless than I thought! Don't worry, I still find you attractive. Oh my god. This guy might be weirder and creepier than Ardata, and she fucking, like, made us build a table on live stream. I don't like this guy at all. This guy is fucking shit. I was just thinking it's cool how you supported me back there when we risked our lives for the cause. No, you, you did not risk your lives for the cause. You let all the loved ones die. All right. I, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Did you see the background? Oh no. Oh, fuck. That's not a real victory for me. That's not a victory for any of us. It's just a victory for that asshole. I don't even like him. Alright. Hmm. Didn't like him so much. That is... That is the perfect description for what we just witnessed there. Hmm. Didn't like him so much. <laughs> he pumps his fist in the air and you immediately copy him, but the gesture doesn't seem to be enough. To change his mind about you not being oppressed enough for his taste. So, I just don't think it's gonna work out between us. Hey! That's the good ending! We got it! We found the really good ending! We did it! We got the good ending, guys! It's done! It's over! Go home! Actually, I think I'm more in the mood for a nice quiet night in. Oh, he... That, that's his fr this guy's not listening to us at all. It's everything he says goes. This is not the basis for a good relationship. This man is like toxic relationship in troll form. I don't, yeah, this, this guy's an ass. I don't like this guy at all. Maybe television streaming service and lower the temperature if that's cool with you. Uh, boy. That is the same connotations as it does on Earth. Oh, God. Oh, God, he just said Netflix and chill. Oh, God, he just said Netflix and chill. Oh, God. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. I gotta get the fuck out of here. One poster has a symbol with clawed hands and several different colors coming together to hold a trident with the word unity underneath it. This guy is a fake SGW. That's what it is. This guy is an SGW, but he does it so he can fuck. You tell him that it looks like a very nice pile of things. Spot a couple of pillows, what seems to be a puppet with a disturbingly long nose. No. No. No, I know what that is. <laughs> that, that works just fine. <laughs> this one also works just fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What layer is that on? I can't even grab it. You look intrigued. Want to lie down on it for a second? We don't have to do anything, but sometimes it can be a nice to just, you know, pacify each other a little bit. I don't like that. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I want this guy to fucking die. I have an ungood authority from every high blood. I know that my intersectional praxis is valid. You stumble over your words in your haste to assure him that you did not... No way meant to say he's not valid. Oh my god. You've never met a troll so valid! No one believes in his validity as more as you do. You must think you're so oppressed with your red blood and multiple injuries. But what you're doing now, rejecting and criticizing me, it's really exactly the same as what subjugulators do to the lowbloods they call. You probably deserve whatever shitty possession you have in society, unlike me. I deserve to have this nice house and lowblood servants and full quadrants. For being such a good activist, okay? Take your privilege and offensive views and get out. Anyone who doesn't respect lowbloods is not welcome as a guest in my hive. It would behoove you to stay away. Game over. I got good news, guys. We never have to see him again. Hopefully, unless Hussey decides to put him in hive swap back too. I hope not. A friend. I have no idea what the fuck's up with him, or her, or them, so a high blood is dead, and you're currently holding hands with the troll who did it dirty deed. 
She chose you to help her lay low, i.e. she made you her accomplice, i.e. you are now her friend. Those trolls seem to have a symbol designating their blood color on them somewhere. Does she mean she's a gold blood, right? Oh. Huh. She was one of my predictions, actually, for, for the next volume, which is now. So, I think I got it half right. I love this girl. I fucking love all, all of girls. Freaking cats. I love it. This could be in any apartment on Earth, but instead of the letters on the nameplates, there's those colorful symbols. They remind you a little of zodiac signs. Huh. Weird. Huh. Weird. I like this all of blood. This is like the first all of blood that we've met in, like, canon that isn't Nepeta or her ancestor. Dancestor. And this one's a badass. Not that Nepeta wasn't a badass, but she is a mercenary badass. Something appears to have gone wrong. Yeah, I'm in love too. I love her. She's great. If I did have a partner, it would make things a lot easier. I'll admit that much. Cough lightly into a closed fist. What's this? An apartment for ants? But a psh. This is what you're afraid of. You're about to watch your new friend kill some poor low blood troll. This was such a terrible idea. Too bad there's no way to go back in time and make your choices all over again. Yeah, that would be rad. You wish life was like that. That's sad. But I, when looking at this, I can't... <laughs> I can't help but think of the Mr. Bean intro where he just falls down from the sky. <laughs> I have the perfect... Oh, hold on. Cinematic parallels. <laughs> Oh, look! It actually updated it. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. We didn't have much to choose from this weekend for best. It was either this piece of shit or quite possibly the greatest troll we've seen in Friend Sim to date. Brit, look at this. Look at her. Brit, look at, look at her. Brit, look at her with your eyes! Look at her! She's beautiful! I was trapped in my hive. I would have starved to death if it hadn't been for some teal who lived in my neighborhood. Just some little idiot. Who ran around with an Eastern Alternia replica sword. <laughs> Challenging per beasts to duels. I know that one. Oh, we all we all know what troll that is. That's the while you studied freaking assassinry, I studied the blade. That's that one. One of the kids in the row ahead of you turns around to tell Polypla that if she and her Moirail want to get out. Get all nasty and pale, maybe you should get a room. Polypa kicks the back of her chair and tells her that maybe she should mind her own business. The girl looks about ready to jump over the back of her seat, but the guy next to her pats her firmly on the cheek. Almost a slow motion slap? Firm and intense with plenty of uncomfortably intimate eye contact. Oh boy, it's a, it's a pap. It's a shoes pap. It's a shoes pap! It's a shoes pap! Deploy shoes pap! For lack of a better plan, you copy what you saw the troll inside due to his angry date. Press your palm firmly to her cheek. To your intense shock, she blushes a deep olive green and her eyes slip closed. She leans into your touch as if she is drawing comfort from this tiny little gesture. Then she blinks and pulls away. Oh my god. Adorable shishpap. Listen, I'm technically on the clock right now. Let's be professional. She bites her lip, hesitating. She then reaches up and repeats the gesture on your face. An unbelievable warmth fills you. Could it be the warmth of friendship? You're weird-looking, double horn amputee with very few social skills, terrible survival instincts, and both short-term and long-term memory loss. But you're alright. If you ever want to earn a little cash, I can use a partner I can depend on. Is it raining? No. Those are just tears in your eyes. Tears of gratitude. Okay, don't get too choked up. You're definitely just going to be bait. You sure polypa that due to your general ineptitude, you wouldn't want it to be any other way. Yay! <laughs> we got another one! We got another good one. I like her. I like her a lot. This is an ordinary dollar that's been crumpled up, torn slightly, soaked in a lagoon, and kissed with coral blue number two semi-gloss lipstick. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. That's where I'm gonna cut it. For YouTube though. Hey guys, I'm very tired. Alright, time to do some friend sim. Oh boy. Let me just wake myself up real quick. Ah! Alright, I should be awake. I don't know. I know a place near here to grab a drink if you want. 
assuming platonically, or is she asking you out? It's really hard to tell. She's so cool and disaffected. Ah, This is so annoying! I'm sorry, but like, there's just this thing. I have to deal with it, I guess. I swear to fuck, she just wants an excuse to see me. Like, it's transparently obvious. Like, how she keeps flirting with all my friends, too? Or just magically shows up in places we used to go together? It's honestly kind of pathetic. Like, you're trying so hard to make it seem like you're over me. That just shows you aren't. <laughs> she already sent me her ETA on Gorgled. <laughs> on Gorgle Maps. <laughs> One troll with a dark purple symbol breaks the mic stand in over half with her knee. Elward sits up a little straighter, popping the collar of her jacket a touch higher and adjusting her hair. Oh boy. God, I'd die if she looked at me that way. <laughs> I wish I was that mic stand. Oh my god. I've never had a girl that mean. I always go for the good girl spades. Thinking I can change them. Like it'll be different with me, you know? If our hate is true enough, it's a bad habit. Nice trolls don't change. That's some advice for you, kid. It was nice to meet you, but it's probably best if you just go. Let's see you, space movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Friendship just died. The whole screen just went black and disappeared and came back. You can take it from here, right? I gotta go. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> the lesbian ending. I understand. Thank you. She shoots you a finger gun and winks. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy shit. It's that one... <laughs> It's that one gay poster that everyone had! It's the exact same poster that just drew over it! That's great. Sure enough, you hear a crisp knock at the door. Edward leans against the nearest wall and crosses her arms over her chest, looking bored. Come on in, girl. Oh! What?! No shit! Alright! It's Branya! Branya's back! You two used to date? Holy shit! Holy shit! Alright! Another troll enters the hive! Hey, wait a second, you know this one! This troll is already your friend! You look at Bronya and try to smile. You lift your hand in a tentative way. Hi, you say? Bronya- <laughs> That was a great animation! It looked like Bronya was dancing! <laughs> Holy shit! Doing. Gremlin time! Cooprum. Cooprum and follicle. I'm not even positive the gremlin one's even gonna talk. I, I should hope they're fucking weird. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. A trash creature! Born out of the trash! La 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 la! Awful. The girl tugs at the boy's hair, and they're off. Cackling and running up the street with a weird stumbling gait. They leave you all in your lonesome. Fresh friendship opportunities withering on the vine. Probably dodged a bullet, but you can't prevent the oncoming. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best instant game over yet. What you had initially taken as deep set eyes are actually no eyes. They are black holes in her face. It looks super creepy and also super painful. Yeah, so what? You think I would just have eyes like some kind of normie? Well, God, no. I can't take a bite of anything while I'm playing this damn game and there's dialogue everywhere. Hold on. What? This guy? Please. Sure, why not? I'm getting sick of your shit anyway. Oh, God. Are they breaking up right in front of you? Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> No, thank you! Vulcan... 
Follicle crawls down off Kufum's back and starts across the filthy alley floor towards you, scuttily and bug-like. Now instead of yelling, Kufum is sniggering. Actual laughter, not lols. That's a good sign, right? It's great when friends can laugh together, especially when shit get awkward. Falco kisses you. Wow! That's friendly! Lots of people kiss their friends, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Yeah! You're super progressive, this is fine. You sort of wish that the first alien tongue you had in your mouth had and tastes like Cheetos, but you didn't have anything in this life. Feel something warm in the back of your neck and Cooper is giggling right next to your ear. Somehow, while you were busy kissing his girlfriend, he snuck up from behind you and started kissing you, too. Oh, I'm just putting his mouth on you and moving his tongue around. You must have been feeding psychic energy into you, with follicle is sucking out of your mouth. <laughs> They're using you like a copper wire. for a second. What the fuck is going on? This one is smallish, but it's still a lot bigger than you, and a lot spinier, and a lot more endowed with dangerous lasers, and it's focused on the three of you instead of someone else. You, Falco, and Cooper make a similar noise. It was a little bit like, Ah, Thank you for watching! Hive Swap, friend sim! We have technology! Dun, 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 dun.